Hello, in this video we will see how to create a database and how to create a table inside this database and fill it with our data. So this is the Excel files containing our data. So I will uh, give you this uh, data, then you can practice yourself. So it will be attached in the course. To do this, just go to database browser or SQLite and click open. After you get the screen, go to new database. It will ask you to save the database. For our case, we will uh, so, so just delete this. So our database, we will call it parts, just like this, and click on save. So after we click on save, it will create a new database with extension parts.db. Create create. We will have this screen. So it will require us to uh, uh, define a name for our table. So our table will be called parts table okay and here on the bottom we will just click on add field so these are the columns of our table so for our case we have nine columns so just we will click on add nine times so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and now we will define the names and the type of variables first one will be id okay it will be integer so here we have the different type of data this one is integer and we will just click on this one because this is a primary key so we will select it as primary key and we will select this one as auto increment that's mean if we increase the number of fields if we add a new row it will automatically increment the number of id the second one is a reference so this is the reference of our mechanical parts so this will be text and for this we just keep it like this the third one is part name and it's also a text variable the next one is minimum area so min area it's a numerical column so we can just make the size bigger after this we will need maximum area it's also numerical number of hole sorry so number of holes with s and you put it also as numerical after this we have minimum diameter we set it also as numerical uh, max diameter similar and finally count so this is the column that will hold the number of parts in our uh, in our uh, warehouse you can set it as integer or as numerical no issue so it's finished this is the design of our table this is the architecture we just click on ok so after we clicked on ok we can see here what we did and to access this table and fill the data since we are dealing only with few data we will do it manually so to do it manually we just go to this so the second tab so in my case it's in French for you it can be just the second tab so this is for database structure and this is for uh, the data so as you can see here we have the columns that we just created and we will just start filling the data for the ID no need to write the ID because it will be auto incremented we will just uh, open again the Excel file so we'll just make this smaller like this okay and then we will open the excel file we will put it down so before to start just insert some rows and then we will start filling our data
So after filling all our data, it will look something like this. This is our table called parse table. Uh, just one thing, don't forget to click on save to not lose your modification. So by this, we finished the creation of our database and filling our data. And now our source of data is ready for the project. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.